want it all, what they saying, take a toe. I love that hate, I don't need no antidote. Better keep it light, yeah, I'm talking to the goat. It's no joke, hey, yeah. Welcome guys, it's me, Mr. Gaming, and welcome back to another video. And today, I'm gonna make a little bit of a different video. I do say this most of the time when I make one of these types of videos. But I'm experimenting with uh, my channel and making different type of content. So um, I just need a little bit more time with a big project that I'm working with right now. So this is just a filler video and also as well to explain um, my horrible PC upgrading experience. So if you don't follow me on Twitter or you're not on my Discord server, you would not have known that over the past couple of weeks I've been upgrading my PC. Um, from the current setup that I had last year with, to a new setup that I have now. So I was upgrading from a Intel CPU to a AMD CPU, which basically means I was upgrading the brains of the computer to make it even more better. So upgrading from a Intel to an AMD CPU requires a new motherboard. So I got a new motherboard I got a Asus B450 as the motherboard. New motherboard means new RAM, so I had to pick up some Corsair RAM, about 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, and then also as well, one of my family members also chipped in a M.2 drive, which is a storage system that goes inside of the motherboard. I try not to go as technical as, if you know me, I am an IT student at college, so I'll try not to go as technical as I would if I was at college, so I'm going to try to keep it as basic as I possibly can without filling your mind with useless information if you're not into computers. So all the parts are arrived and um, I had a help from someone you might know in the channel. Um, I'm going to just play one clip. And you'll know instantly who they are. Yeah. Fastest Pramming Galaxy, mate. Oh, yeah. Never... So, yeah. Um, fastest Pramming Galaxy, mate, guy, or Liam, came round to help with the PC build. And I put in all the parts myself. And as soon as we turned it on, dead. Nothing came on. Screen didn't came on. And I started to panic. So, we took out the CPU no bent pins we had nothing to do and we assumed that it, the cpu was dead because the board that i got said it was gen 3 ready and the cpu that i got from amd is a gen 3 m is a gen 3 cpu so out of the box it should have worked with the cpu but I'll get onto that in one moment. So, the new CPU arrives. Um, I had to refund the old CPU. That was a pain to get refunded, as the company took about two weeks to actually send the money back. But it's all good. No shade to them. I got the money back, so it's all good. So, I put in the new CPU, and it doesn't turn on again. So... Um, we assumed that the board wasn't updated properly. There was no way for me to upgrade it as for me to upgrade it I had to get a, I had to get an older Ryzen CPU, which I don't have. I upgraded from a I upgraded from an Intel CPU So I didn't have another AMD another AMD CPU with me. So I couldn't actually update the the board so it was dumb. I sent the board back there was no problems with that refund. They just instantly refunded it, so that was fine. So the new board comes. I got a B450i, I believe. It, this one's from Republic of Gaming. So it was a really nice board. And as soon as I turned it on, it worked perfectly. And that's the current PC that I'm on right now. So it works like a charm. Um, the whole reason why this computer didn't work, it wasn't the CPU, it was actually the board. And there was no way for me to test if it was the CPU or the board, mainly because this is the first time that I've upgraded to a Ryzen um, CPU, as the Intel, um, the Intel and the Ryzen CPUs have different sockets which they go into. And plus as well, the new board that came with it actually told me that what was working and what was not. Because the new board had startup lights where it would show me if there was maybe 
like a graphics card issue, a CPU issue, or RAM issue, it would literally tell me. I don't know why more boards have that, because the, the other board that I got had no indication that anything was broken, but the new board that I got told me literally everything that was wrong with about the computer. So that's going to do it for this little uh, video. Um, all I'm saying is read into the parts that you're going to buy. Even though it did say that it was ready for my CPU, it clearly wasn't. So what I suggest if you are upgrading boards, there is this new feature on the newer boards called BIOS Flashback, which means you don't need an older CPU to update the BIOS. So it's an easier way to upgrade your board without having an older CPU if you're going from Intel to AMD or AMD to Intel. It's, it's, it's perfect, really. Thank you all so much for watching. It's a very weird video, but I just want to explain what happened to my PC. And it also it is a filler video, so therefore I can get a bigger project that I'm working on right now. So trust me, it's worth waiting for that bigger project. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. They can't stop it. They can't stop the kid. They can't stop it. They can't stop the kid. Check the score, but I'm running up stats. Numbers don't lie, that's facts. They can't stop it. They can't stop the kid. They can't stop it. They can't stop the kid. Check the numbers, I'm running it up.